The quest to understand the universe is a journey embarked upon by countless souls throughout history. From ancient stargazers to modern physicists, humanity has long sought to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. What is often overlooked in this epic tale is the profound influence of faith, particularly Christianity, on the very birth of modern science. Far from being opposing forces, faith and science have often walked hand in hand, each enriching and informing the other. The pioneers of modern science, individuals like Copernicus, Kepler, Galileo and Newton, were not driven by a desire to dethrone God, but to understand the intricate workings of his creation. They saw the universe not as a chaotic jumble, but as an ordered system governed by laws, laws that were a testament to a divine lawgiver. These scientists were not content with mere observation. They yearned for deeper understanding, believing that in unraveling the mysteries of the natural world, they were glimpsing the mind of its creator. This conviction that the universe is both intelligible and the product of a rational mind provided the fertile ground from which modern science blossomed. It was this belief that led Johannes Kepler, the father of celestial mechanics, to exclaim, I am thinking God's thoughts after him. For Kepler and many of his contemporaries, the study of science was not a pursuit devoid of spirituality, but a form of worship, a way of drawing closer to the divine through the contemplation of his works. The harmonious relationship between faith and science in these early years was not merely a coincidence, it was a natural outgrowth of the Christian worldview. The belief in a God who created the universe ex nihilo, out of nothing, implied that the universe was not divine itself, but rather a creation open to investigation and exploration. This distinction between creator and creation was crucial, for it freed the scientific mind to investigate the natural world without fear of committing sacrilege. Perhaps no figure better embodies the harmonious relationship between faith and science than Sir Isaac Newton, a giant whose shoulders all subsequent scientists have stood upon. Newton, a devout Christian, saw no contradiction between his groundbreaking scientific discoveries and his deep religious convictions. In fact, I believed that my scientific work was a form of worship, a way of deciphering the language of God written into the fabric of creation. Newton's masterpiece, the Principia Mathematica, laid the foundations for classical mechanics and revolutionized our understanding of the universe. In it, he formulated the law of universal gravitation, explaining the force that holds the planets in their orbits and governs the tides. Yet for Newton, this elegant mathematical description of the universe was not a refutation of God's existence, but a powerful affirmation. This most beautiful system of the sun, planets and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. Newton saw the universe as a grand clockwork mechanism, meticulously designed and set in motion by a divine clockmaker. He believed that the laws of physics were not self-existent, but were upheld by God's constant sustaining power. Newton's faith was not a mere appendage to his scientific endeavors, it permeated his entire worldview. He spent countless hours studying the Bible, believing it to contain profound truths about God and the universe. Indeed, some scholars argue that Newton's theological studies influenced his scientific work, particularly his concept of absolute space and time, which he saw as attributes of God. Newton's life and work stand as a powerful testament to the compatibility of faith and science. He demonstrated that it is possible to be both a rigorous scientist and a devout believer finding harmony between the book of nature and the book of scripture. His example continues to inspire generations of scientists and theologians alike, reminding us that the pursuit of truth, whether through the lens of faith or the tools of science, ultimately leads us closer to the divine.